All right, I hope you all had a marvelous holiday season. I know I did, and I took a little bit of time to take care of some side projects that I've been working on, but we're back in action, and I've got a lot of good stuff coming up for you. Uh, for starters, um, something new just recently came out. It looks like VirtualBox has had an upgrade to version 6. And for those of you who have a dark theme like I do, it is no longer going to obey that dark theme that you have on your desktop, and you have to make some changes in order to get this to match. Now, something of interest is, um, it appears, you know, the way that Qt applications, or Qt, uh, it seems like the way that we theme them on our GTK desktops has kind of evolved. Now, in the past, we used a Qt 5 control, which is this application here, and uh, it would allow us to do some theming, okay? And uh, now, for today's demonstration that I have here, I selected a uh, clean looks appearance. Uh, but because for some reason, after I did some upgrades, Fusion went away, which is what I originally had, and that sort of thing. No biggie, though. All right, now, there is a new package you're going to need to look up um, because in addition to Qt 5 settings, Qt 5 control, let's uh, go ahead and open this up in Manjaro. This should also be in whatever package manager that you have on your system, though. Okay, we're going to do a search for uh, Qt 5. Okay, that must be the Qt5 uh, Quick Controls application. But you'll see I have a number of uh, Qt5 uh, tools installed here. Okay. And uh, it is in this package. So you're going to need Qt5 Control. And then, of course, you're going to need a framework for uh, changing the appearance of Qt5 as well. And it looks like a lot of things are using Covantum very well now. So you're going to need to search for that as well. So you'll search for Covantum, and there is the uh, Covantum Manager. And of course, if you're a, a dark theme enthusiast, um, there are a number of uh, themes that you can get for this as well, uh, which is really nice. So. Let's show you how this basically works. All right, first, I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, close everything up here. All right. So first, you're going to use your Qt5 control. All right, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to choose either Covantum or Covantum Dark. Since I use a dark theme, I prefer the Covantum Dark theme. So we'll go ahead and apply that. And then OK. Now we can open up Covantum Manager. OK. And then from here, we can choose one of the many different themes. Now, I've already installed one called Materia Dark, uh, which is really nice and it makes everything match um, my uh, M. Cole Twilight theme quite closely. Uh, so let's go ahead and have a look at this now. Um, so we've got Covantum Dark chosen. When we go ahead and open up, um, VirtualBox, you're going to see it now matches my desktop a little bit better now, okay? And uh, also, um, OBS Studio will match too if I restart it, but because, uh, yeah, um, that uses uh, Qt as well. I can tell you, though, it will match after it has been uh, closed and reopened. Um, why don't we pick another application like uh, Kdn Live? Okay, and you can see that it's themed Caden Live very nicely as well. And not only that, but you can also go into the theme settings, and all of these uh, Covantum themes are also included in here, so you can change the appearance of uh, all of your cute applications if you want to. 
Uh, I'm going to go back to Materia Dark because I happen to like that style and it seems to closely uh, resemble my theme. But um, I like in that it has given a lot of really nice uh, options for uh, theming um, your cute applications on a GTK desktop. So I figured I would share that. Covantum is your friend, so be sure and search for uh, K... I'll mouse that over and you can zoom in here. That is K-V-A-N-T-U-M Manager. You need that and you need uh, Qt5 Control. And then with that, you'll be able to theme all of your Qt applications on your GTK uh, 2 and GTK 3 desktops. I'm running the latest uh, Manjaro desktop and we've actually got uh, Qt3 applications running now as well. Let me... Uh, I'm going to about, and you'll see here, um, this is the XFCE4 panel, 4.13. Um, now it's not saying GTK3. Hmm. Uh, I can assure you that it is, because uh, if I do a search for it, and pick the state, you're going to see that I have a bunch of uh, things in here, and... Uh, your uh, XFCE4 indicator plugins are now uh, GTK3. Uh, the panel is GTK3 now. Um, so it's coming right, right along. So if you want to check out what the latest GTK3 enhancements for XFCE are, you'll definitely want to try out Manjaro because Manjaro's got it. Okay, so at any rate, um, I digress. So at any rate, I covered what I came, to, came out to cover um, in that this is the best way to uh, make your Qt or Qt applications match your GTK3 desktop. Coventum is your friend, definitely. Check it out. Try it. Um, Happy New Year, everybody. I've got another video I'm cranking out in just a few minutes here. Um, so until next time, peace out. Mm -hmm.